Howdy herd, it's Kara with Goat For It Farm, and today we've got a lot going on. First, we're going to go in the buck pen and feed the bucks a little bit early and check how Rocky Road's castration is going and make sure everything looks like it's going how it should be. Then we're gonna go over and I'm gonna show you the fence that we are updating for the goats. And then finally, we will check out the does and do a little udder update of them, as well as shave their udders because we have five does due within a week and a half of today. Kinda crazy. <laughs> so join me. First, let's get into the buck pen. Oh, Silver's making a cute face. Well, his, I smell, smells face. He looks like he's doing well. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Oh, you're so cute, Rocky Road. You little smile. Good fatty. You're always looking good. And little silver. You're a cutie, too. All right, I'm going to feed y'all early. Come on. Okay, I already dropped their feet in from the other side so that I could come in here easily without them trying to trample me over the food. And so let's see whether or not Rocky Road's Nuts are dehydrating. Hopefully they are. Okay. Well, um, I do think they look smaller than they did. Um, it, they say it can take 30 days for them to really shrink up. So let's look at Confetti Bomb for reference. Confetti Bomb. He's always had um, <clears throat> a larger package than Rocky Road, and it's it's only been a week, but I think I, I think it looks a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll just keep an eye on it. Um, the goal is that his well that the Birdizo method worked, which I think it did. Um, it can take 30 days again for that to all shrink up. Oh, hey, Mr. Silver. Oh, Sandy, you better watch out, girl. Um, but I think even though he had the Berdizo method, I am still probably going to band him once his testicles are small enough for the band to go over uh, and to the top of the scrotum. Just because, I don't know, I always worry about that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, what if it didn't work out? Um, so... Probably, just to be doubly sure, we'll ban him anyways after that shrinking occurs. So, I'll keep you updated on that. What are you doing, Silver? Did you already eat enough? I guess you are smaller. Oh, you're so cute. You're cute and stinky. Oh, Sandy, I did not call your name. I said stinky. That's an old pumpkin they ate. Oh, I also want to show y'all the shelter for over here so in the last video it was a total construction zone over here and now the new buck shelter is done and it's a lot better um, plenty of room for them and we can just put down fresh pine bedding in here and it, it just gives such a break from the wind it doesn't usually get really that windy here but it does rain and we actually have a chance of rain on Christmas, like torrential rain. So goats absolutely hate rain and they'll be glad to be able to get out of it. Oh, I love the bucks. Bucks have so much personality. They all do. Okay, let's go look at the fence together and check on the does. Look at these babies on the right side of the road. Technically, technically, our property is on both sides, but this cross fence is keeping them where we want them. It's going to help keep them safe. Good job, goaties. Look hey. who's out and about. We've got Shiloh, which is usual, <laughs> and she has her halo collar on. Not sponsored, but we've loved it so much that we actually got one for Scout also, and he's been doing really well with it. Whoa! Um, and so they've been able to be out together the last few days. Who thinks I'm trying to catch him? I'm not trying to catch you, boy. Just look at how big this dude is. Scout, you're massive. You are a massive dog. And I mean, Shiloh, she's big too, but she's like, 
she's shorter than Scout, but she's a lot stockier. <laughs> and then Scout, he's just a big boy. He's just, he's not as stocky, but he's definitely taller. And he's only like, what, 11 months old? He's like, come on Shiloh, we need to go. We need to go see the goats out there. But they're doing a really great job patrolling together. Right now they're investigating my car. Does it pass the test, girl? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, y'all are good dogs. All right, I've got a little test for you. Did I pet the dogs with mostly this hand or was it this hand? What do you think, one or two? One or two? Okay, well, um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to shave the udders before the sun goes completely down. Uh, quick story, I was going inside just to have some coffee, get a water. I always drink a water after I have coffee. I just do. Um, and when I picked this piece, this piece, this water bottle up, the rest of the water bottle case fell onto a basket of eggs. I didn't realize that it was like hanging on the edge and that this one water bottle was keeping everything together, uh, but it was. And so that set me back. I had to wash some mini, mini eggs, um, <laughs> but I'm out here now. So, <laughs> hey Dottie. So how about we just have a look at what their udders are looking at, looking like right now. And then maybe tomorrow I can get them all shaved and stuff. <laughs> Go to tack. Now, sweet Dottie here, she is not having any babies. She's just still a baby herself. Yeah. <laughs> a, a baby shark. Good grief. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around and we will look at the does that are due. All right, we've got Gazelle. Hey, Gazelle. Oh, Rocky, you're not due. You're just a boy. But... Gazelle here, she is bred to our buck Confetti Bomb, and she is due on December 21st. She's never had babies before, but she's got a nice little udder coming in. Nope. Iris, can I help you, ma'am? Iris is not pregnant. She's just a cutie. All right, moving on. Uh, Oreo here is also due on December 21st. Let's see your little udder. Little Otter. Hers is coming in nice. She really needs a shave down. She's a fuzzy one. And then, oh, who else is due then? It's Trixie. Hey, Trixie girl. Trixie, she has always had this wavy texture to her hair, and I just love it so much. Look at that belly girl. But she has a wonderful Otter coming in. Um, last year, her two babies that she had favored one side of her udder and it got super lopsided and I was really worried it would not um, look as good as it does but you are I don't know how you're a boar mixed goat well I do you're you're stocky but you produce so much milk girl you do all right two more to look at we've got oh did I say Oreo is due on the 21st she's actually due December 22nd. I always mess that up because it's one day difference. But we do have another dough that's due on the 21st and it is Sugar. Sugar has her udder coming in. And then finally for the December group is Miss Honey here. And you can see her udder coming in nicely too. But I don't know. I think, I think they're going to have a lot of babies. I don't know. Sometimes I look at them and I think, oh, y'all aren't that big. And then other times I'm like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The circumference. So that's it for the December group. Um, those are the ones that I really need to get shaved. But I just don't have time today. There's only so much daylight. And, well, I had a not so excellent thing occur. Uh, while I was inside. 
<laughs> but hey, can't complain about clean eggs. Oh, here comes Scout. Hey, Scout. Hey, boy. The guts are like not so sure about Scout still. He's just a bit more rambunctious than Shiloh. Shiloh has a really great temperament, but you know, for Scout's age, I think he does pretty well. He just tries to initiate play a lot and Shiloh puts him in his place, even though he's enormous. <laughs> hey dogs, hey. Hey dear. But their collars are pretty cool. I might have to do a video about their collars, but their collars are really neat. We have an app where we're actually able to see their location all the time on there. And it gives us a warning if they're like going to a boundary because let me be honest with you. This place, um, my great grandfather originally had this part of the property. Uh, and then we were able to purchase that part on that side. And he used to have cattle here and let's just, if you know anything about keeping in goats, you know that it's a lot harder to keep in goats, especially these sweet littles, than it is to keep in um, cows. So with the cows, they had uh, a few strands of barbed wire and that was it. And the goats can just go right through that. And the dogs can too. Um, so we're putting up uh, goat and sheep fencing around the property uh, other parts of the property aren't a concern and in fact this is a cross fence that we're working on right now um, but for the dogs we want them to be able to roam the full property and so by um, the, with those collars we can actually set a parameter that they can go in which is the full property is how we have it set and then when they get close to it the collars will do a vibration and if they get even closer it'll do another type of vibration that we set and then if they continue to go uh, it has it's kind of like a tens unit if you've ever used one of those where it will kind of cause like a muscle contraction i actually tried it on my arm before i put it on jilo because you know we love our dogs we don't want to do anything that's like awful or harmful to them but we do need to get their attention if they're going somewhere they don't need to be and the dogs have really like the collars have done well with them <laughs> and um in fact they're always happy to put them on because they're like we know we're gonna get to go the full like range of the property and they stay within it it works um so we're, we're glad to be able to keep them in because they i mean they're the biggest asset that we have uh when you really think about it they keep all of our goats safe they help keep us safe because uh, when you live out in the country you just never know you feel safe out here but i mean bad things can happen anywhere <laughs> scout you're so cute boy you look like such a good dog i am a good dog aren't i <laughs> yes you are oh you're even gonna sit and act polite <laughs> Oh, isn't that just a beautiful picture? Before we got these dogs, we were having some really bad issues with predation. Um, we actually had lost uh, a goat, Rockies, um, our weather, the one that's big and gray way in the far side. His brother and him were the first goats that we ever got. And um, a one day he just totally disappeared. And we think a coyote must have gotten him. Um, and the other goats were obviously shaken up by it. And so the livestock guardian dogs have made such a huge difference. Um, we, we have not, I'm scared to say it out loud, but we have not had any losses while these dogs are out. Um, they do their job. They do it very well. And they're really, nice dogs to us um it's important to us that we have a dog that's sweet to everybody in the family uh that we don't have to worry about them being aggressive towards us um and they're just so so smart 
y'all. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and close out for this video. We'll have to do the utter uh, shaving and update maybe tomorrow, uh, hopefully tomorrow if we have enough daylight. But I really appreciate you joining me this afternoon. And don't forget, if you have a dream, go for it. <laughs> you trying to steal my water bottle? <laughs> Naughty things.